In On the Origin of Time, by Thomas Hertog, embark on a captivating journey through the enigmatic and awe-inspiring theories conceived by the late physicist Stephen Hawking during the last two decades of his extraordinary life. Guided by the intricate tapestry of quantum physics, holograms, and the profound influence of Charles Darwin's evolutionary theory, Hertog unravels the captivating insights that shape the eminent scientists' beliefs concerning the origins of our vast universe. As the closest collaborator to Hawking throughout his final years, Belgian cosmologist Thomas Hertog offers a unique perspective on their shared scientific endeavors, having co-authored numerous groundbreaking papers. Following his acclaimed work in Big Bang, Imagining the Universe, Hertog delivers his second book, On the Origin of Time, delving deep into the intricacies of cosmology and shedding light on the extraordinary ideas that captivated the mind of one of history's greatest scientific minds. Throughout the pages of this book summary, we are invited to witness Hawking's relentless pursuit of understanding the fundamental principles that govern our cosmos. We will venture into realms of thought that defy conventional wisdom, exploring exhilarating and mind-bending concepts that challenge the boundaries of our comprehension. Brace yourself for a remarkable voyage into the boundless complexity of the universe, where the answers to timeless questions await discovery. Emphasizing the importance of open-mindedness and intellectual flexibility, on the origin of time, reminds us that even the most brilliant minds are not immune to the possibility of error. Stephen Hawking's evolving perspective serves as a poignant reminder that growth and advancement require a willingness to reevaluate cherished beliefs in the face of compelling new evidence. Prepare yourself for an enlightening and transformative expedition. Strap in, as we embark on an extraordinary odyssey that will stretch the limits of your understanding, expanding horizons and unveiling the intricacies of the cosmos. On the origin of time, awaits, ready to captivate and reward those who dare to explore the profound mysteries that lie at the heart of our existence. Chapter 1. The Impeccable Design On that scorching summer day in 1998, a young and eager Thomas Hertog found himself standing on the threshold of greatness. Stephen Hawking, the brilliant mind trapped within a paralyzed body, had summoned him to his office. Hertog, a graduate student in cosmology, knew this encounter could change the trajectory of his career. As Hawking used his clicker to communicate, his iconic synthesized voice resonated through the room. It was a voice that had become inseparable from his genius, capturing the essence of his thoughts. It was with this voice that Hawking posed a profound question to Hertog, one that would ignite their collaboration for the next two decades and lay the foundation for the book that would follow. Hawking's words lingered in the air, challenging Hertog's understanding of the universe. Why did our cosmos exhibit such remarkable harmony, seemingly tailor-made for the existence of life? Delving deeper into the science, the duo discovered an astonishing truth. The fundamental laws of physics governing our universe appeared finely tuned to enable life to flourish. Consider gravity, the force that governs the motions of celestial bodies. A minuscule adjustment in its strength would have significant consequences. If gravity were slightly stronger, stars would burn brighter, exhausting their fuel at an accelerated rate. Life on any planet would never have the opportunity to emerge before their suns faded into darkness. Even in the earliest stages of the universe, temperature fluctuations played a critical role. If those fluctuations had deviated even slightly from their delicate balance, galaxies would have collapsed into massive black holes, condemning everything to eternal oblivion. Conversely, had the temperature variations been smaller, galaxies would have failed to form altogether. Another perplexing detail lay hidden within the core of an atom, the contrasting weights of protons and neutrons. Although seemingly inconsequential, this slight asymmetry held immense significance. Had the universe's blueprint dictated the opposite, with protons outweighing neutrons, the latter would have decayed instantly after the Big Bang. Without stable atoms, the formation of planets, stars, and life itself would have been impossible. Hawking, the author of the seminal work A Brief History of Time, had previously embraced the notion that the laws of the universe were eternal and unchanging. To him, questioning their existence was futile, they simply were. However, the encounter with Hertog had kindled a flame of curiosity within Hawking, compelling him to seek a deeper understanding. In the following chapters, 
we will journey alongside Stephen Hawking and Thomas Hertog as they explore the intricate tapestry of the cosmos. Together, they will embark on a quest to unravel the mysteries of our exquisitely designed universe and seek an explanation that transcends mere chance. Their intellectual odyssey will challenge conventional wisdom, pushing the boundaries of human understanding and forever altering our perception of the cosmos. Chapter 2, In Search of a New Theory Throughout history, humans have grappled with the question of why the universe appears to be finely tuned for life. Two prevailing explanations have emerged, each with its own allure and limitations. The first is the belief in a creative designer, a divine architect who meticulously crafted the laws of the universe to accommodate life. This viewpoint finds resonance in various religious and philosophical traditions, attributing the intricate balance of our cosmos to a higher intelligence. The second explanation, a more recent concept, proposes the existence of a multiverse, an ensemble of countless parallel universes, each governed by different laws of physics. While the majority of these universes would be inhospitable to life, the argument suggests that within this vast expanse of possibilities, a small fraction would exhibit conditions conducive to the emergence of life. However, neither of these explanations satisfied Stephen Hawking. Despite their appeal, they lacked a critical component, a falsifiable scientific theory. Hawking, inspired by the ideas of philosopher Karl Popper, recognized that a legitimate scientific hypothesis must possess the potential to be tested and proven wrong through experimentation and evidence. The notion of a creative designer, while embraced by many, does not lend itself to scientific inquiry. It remains beyond the realm of empirical observation, impervious to laboratory tests or experimental validation. Similarly, the multiverse theory encounters insurmountable challenges in terms of testability. As inhabitants of the observable universe, confined by the limitations imposed by the speed of light, humans are constrained within a finite bubble of perception. Beyond this cosmic horizon lies an uncharted territory, forever beyond our reach and comprehension. Stephen Hawking found himself dissatisfied with the existing explanations, realizing the need for a new theory, one that could be subjected to the rigors of scientific investigation. It was a call to embark on a quest to uncover a deeper understanding of the underlying fabric of our universe, one that could reconcile the apparent fine-tuning with the principles of empirical inquiry. In the chapters that follow, we will join Hawking on his intellectual journey, as he ventures into uncharted territories and challenges conventional wisdom. Armed with his relentless curiosity and unyielding pursuit of truth, he will lead us towards a new theory, one that holds the potential to unravel the mysteries of our universe's code. Together, we will explore the frontiers of scientific discovery, propelled by the audacity to question and the determination to seek answers beyond the confines of what we already know. Chapter 3. Unveiling the Extra Dimension in our everyday lives, we navigate a world that seems confined to three dimensions, up and down, left and right, forward and back. It is a familiar space in which we go about our daily routines, oblivious to the existence of a hidden dimension that could forever alter our perception of reality, the fourth dimension of time. The revelation of this additional dimension was not a product of wild imagination, but rather the profound insight of a scientific titan, Albert Einstein. In his revolutionary theory of relativity, Einstein mathematically demonstrated that time is not a separate entity but an inseparable part of the fabric of the universe. Objects do not merely exist in space, they also occupy a specific moment in time. Now, fast forward to 1983, when Stephen Hawking introduced the No Boundary Proposal, a concept that rewound the history of the universe to its primordial origins. In this cosmic rewind, Hawking revealed a mind-bending revelation. Time itself did not exist before the Big Bang. Instead, everything was compressed into an infinitesimally small and dense singularity. According to the No Boundary Proposal, the question of what preceded the Big Bang becomes moot, for there was no before, without the existence of time. However, as the universe expanded and cooled mere fractions of a second after the Big Bang, the three familiar spatial dimensions we inhabit emerged, giving birth to time as the fourth dimension. This remarkable insight sets the stage for the transformative power of Hawking's new theory, which lies at the heart of Hertog's book. In his earlier work, 
A brief history of time, Hawking adhered to the notion that the laws of physics were immutable and eternal. Yet, as time passed, his perspective underwent a profound shift. Hawking began to conceive of the laws of physics as dynamic and evolving, adapting to the changing circumstances of the universe's birth and subsequent development. Just as Charles Darwin unveiled the process of evolution in the realm of biology, Hawking envisaged a similar process unfolding in the realm of physics. Crucially, these transformations occurred within the realm of quantum physics, a domain governed by probabilities rather than certainties. Quantum physics views particles and their properties not as fixed entities but as probabilistic manifestations. An electron, for example, does not possess a definite location or weight but rather exists as a range of probabilities. Thus, in the quantum realm, the laws that currently govern our universe are not static dictums but rather outcomes forged from a multitude of infinite possibilities. The evolution of electromagnetism, gravity, dark matter, and even the weight of neutrons unfolded through a process of quantum exploration, ultimately shaping the universe as we know it. The implications of this new perspective are profound and mind-boggling. It challenges our preconceived notions of a fixed and unchanging cosmos, inviting us to embrace a universe that evolves, adapts, and undergoes constant transformation. As we embark on this journey of quantum marvels, we must prepare to encounter strange and mesmerizing phenomena, stretching the boundaries of our imagination and reshaping our understanding of reality itself. Chapter 4 the Paradox of Observation If you find yourself perplexed by the concepts we have explored thus far, you are not alone. The realm of quantum physics and its implications for our understanding of reality can be profoundly bewildering, defying the intuitive logic that governs our daily lives. In the face of this unfamiliar complexity, the only response is to embrace a sense of wonder and awe at the magnificent intricacy of the universe. In the quantum world, where probabilities reign supreme, objects do not possess definitive values until they are measured or observed. Prior to observation, an electron, for instance, exists as a cloud of probabilities, with a certain chance of being in one location and another chance of being in a different location. However, the act of measurement collapses this cloud of possibilities into a specific value, revealing the electron's precise location. But that is not the only bewildering aspect of quantum physics. Another mind-bending concept is known as superposition. Simply put, superposition means that an object can exist in a state of equal probability between two or more different values. In other words, before measurement, an object could potentially be in two places simultaneously. The interplay between fixing values through observation and the phenomenon of superposition is crucial to understanding the groundbreaking concept that Hawking and Hertog delved into, an idea that could revolutionize the field of cosmology itself. This concept is known as top-down cosmology, which stands in contrast to the more familiar bottom-up approach. In bottom-up cosmology, scientists study the universe's evolution forward in time, starting from the Big Bang and using scientific theories and evidence to predict the phenomena we observe today. However, top-down cosmology challenges our conventional notions of time, causality, and observation. Drawing on the principles of quantum physics, top-down cosmology suggests that the laws governing the universe evolved in the quantum realm shortly after the Big Bang. These laws existed in a superposition of multiple possibilities, with no fixed values until they were observed. In a peculiar twist, human observers, scientists measuring and observing the laws of the universe, play a role in fixing these values from a vast array of simultaneous possibilities. In this view, the past becomes intricately linked to the present, with the act of observation influencing the evolution of the universe's laws. Human observers, through their measurements and observations, have the power to shape the course of cosmic development making the study of cosmology an interactive and participatory endeavor. The implications of this paradoxical relationship between observation, superposition, and the evolution of the universe's laws are profound. It challenges our understanding of causality and raises profound questions about the nature of reality. As we navigate through the complexities of top-down cosmology, we must confront the astonishing idea that our observations and measurements have the potential to reshape the very fabric of the cosmos, offering a new perspective on our place in the vast expanse of the universe. 
Chapter 5. The Holographic Universe To truly comprehend the remarkable collaboration between Hawking and Hertog, we must delve into one final concept, holography. Over the past decade, holography has captivated the world of theoretical physics. In this theory, the universe is not conceptualized in terms of atoms and space but rather in terms of information, an idea that aligns with the probabilistic nature of quantum physics. To grasp the concept of a holographic universe, let's take a trip down memory lane to the realm of science fiction. Remember watching Star Wars and witnessing characters communicating through eerie computer projections of their bodies? These projections are holograms, three-dimensional objects being projected from two-dimensional surfaces. So, what does it mean to live in a holographic universe? It implies that our existence within three spatial dimensions is merely a projection of a multidimensional reality that remains beyond our reach. This peculiar idea gains support when we examine the evidence derived from studying black holes. At the heart of a black hole lies a singularity, an infinitely dense and minuscule point. Enveloping the singularity is an immense gravitational field in the shape of a sphere. If we consider the universe to be composed of information, it would make sense for this sphere to contain an enormous amount of information. However, scientists discovered that the information contained in black holes is not proportional to their spherical capacity but rather to their capacity as a circle, a two-dimensional shape. This finding provides compelling evidence for the holographic universe theory. Drawing inspiration from this concept, Hawking and Hertog delved into the origins of the universe. Through their calculations, they realized that the no-boundary proposal, which suggests that time emerged from the three spatial dimensions shortly after the Big Bang, aligns perfectly with the theory that our universe is a hologram containing additional dimensions. Continuing to refine their model, they incorporated the notion that the universe is comprised of information, bits. As they traced this back to the Big Bang, they made a fascinating discovery. As we approach the beginning of the universe, the supply of information bits begins to deplete, much like the resolution of a movie progressively becoming grainier until it ultimately fades into nothingness. Before space, before time, there exists a realm devoid of bits. And thus, congratulations are in order. You have embarked on an extraordinary journey that traversed the realms of mind-bending physics and cosmic origins. Through the exploration of holography, you have gained insights into a universe that transcends our ordinary perception, offering a glimpse into the enigmatic origins of time itself. Summary During the latter part of Stephen Hawking's life, he experienced a shift in his perspective regarding the origins of the laws of physics that govern our universe. Dissatisfied with existing explanations lacking falsifiability, he embarked on a fresh approach. His new proposal suggested that our universe is a holographic projection encompassing inaccessible dimensions, thereby supporting his belief that time emerged from our three spatial dimensions shortly after the Big Bang. Hawking also speculated that in the immediate aftermath of the Big Bang, the laws of our universe underwent changes and quantum evolution. According to his theory, contemporary scientists have effectively determined these laws from an array of countless possibilities through their mere observation. Now, thank you for taking the time to watch, and if you found value in this video, be sure to hit that like button and subscribe to my channel, and in case you want to buy the book, use the link in the description, trust me, you won't regret it.